This mission, TJ Reaper, was kind of started way back in like 2016-ish. Like the idea goes back, like we talked to one of the alumni, he said the idea goes back even to 2015. What they initially wanted to do was send up a little radio module and test whether that works. The Iridium radio, right? I'm sure you've heard about it by now. Uh, the Iridium radio, they wanted to send it up and you know see how well that functions in orbit. Basically, does it work, yes or no? We have changed it to basically go from, instead of determining whether it works, we're trying to find out how well it works. Um, on the satellite, we have two different radio systems. An APRS radio, which just uses traditional antennas and communicates directly with the ground. And an Iridium radio, which communicates with a Iridium satellite network. So because Iridium communicates with a satellite constellation instead of a ground station, it can draw a lot less power than more traditional radios. Uh, essentially what they're going to do is they're going to take this satellite right here, they will go pack it into a box, uh, ship that box over the country towards Houston, take it out, move this into Nanorax, who's our launch provider, we're going to put it into their big deployer tube, and once it's in that tube, that'll go integrate into an actual rocket, it's a SpaceX Falcon 9, and at launch time, it launches in like October. It'll go up, it'll dock with the International Space Station, and then they'll deploy us off of there. So, there's a conference every year called the National Small Satellite Conference. Basically what that is, is it's a place for university level students normally to go and like present the small satellite research they've been doing. So all the CubeSat programs and all the big universities are going to be there. We are actually the only high school at that conference who actually has a booth. So we'll basically go there and then present the work that we have done, present the results of that little study that we conducted, and then talk about some of our future steps and you know build some connections so that we can help make funding a little bit easier for our future missions. CubeSat was formed to help create a community at TJ of people who were passionate about aerospace and who could get hands-on experience with building a CubeSat at, like, when they're still in high school. And I also think the fact that we're a high school making a CubeSat in Sydney in space is motivational not just for us but for other high schoolers around the country, for other groups that are trying to reach this point. So it's also just trying to get the global community more interested in CubeSats and aerospace so that we can help grow this movement of younger and younger people understanding and getting involved in this awesome field in aerospace. The TJ Space Program organically formed from the students' passions and interest in aerospace. Thanks to the partnership fund, the students' dream became a reality. TJ Space has plans to work on another satellite through the GLEE program in 2023. And we're developing the next CubeSat, the TJ Bus, designed to carry TJ student research experiments to space. Thanks again to the Partnership Fund for their support and for helping to redefine expectations of what high school students are capable of at TJ.